Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 11th of 2021. Well, it is titled Eclipse Flyby. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image taken yesterday. And this is an image of the eclipse that occurred and was visible from various parts of the world, uh, from the eastern portions of the United States to Canada, uh, up through Greenland and around the Arctic regions into Russia. So various regions far north were able to see this. And in an eclipse, a solar eclipse, the moon passes in between Earth and sun and blocks out the light of our sun for a short time. And that's what we're seeing here. Now in a total eclipse, it would be lined up perfectly. And you would have moon could completely block out our sun. However, in this case, the moon was at apogee or just past apogee, meaning it was at its furthest away from Earth. And that means it appeared a little bit smaller and would have been unable to block out the moon or the sun, regardless, even if everything were lined up perfectly. And that gives us what we call an annular eclipse. So at the maximum eclipse here, you would have seen a ring of sunlight around the moon. Now that's not what we saw for most of the areas do see a partial eclipse something like this. And this was what was visible from most of the areas for the eclipse, you would have seen something like this, uh, this morning. And the only thing you probably wouldn't have seen was the bird happening to fly through the image. So something that certainly could not be planned for and had to be gotten by chance that the bird just happened to be coming through at the right time while things were being photographed to be able to get the bird flying through the image here as well. So this was the eclipse again and eclipses occur a couple of times a year but depending on the exact timing and locations they may be visible from different areas so not every area area on the earth will see an eclipse each year. Sometimes we go several years without seeing eclipses. And sometimes we'll get a couple in a row. So it all depends on the geometry of the earth, moon and sun and their orbits uh, in the solar system. So they can be calculated well in advance. So we can actually look and see when eclipses will occur and where they will be visible. And there are websites that you can look up that will tell you where the next eclipses will be visible and what eclipses will occur each year. And we'll be able to tell you that so you can actually look for eclipses that will be visible from your area so that you can plan to be able to see them. As you could have seen just after sunrise this morning something image similar to this. So that was our picture of the day for June the 11th of 2021. It was titled Eclipse Flyby. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.